Hello. I thought I would share with you guys a little itty bitty fuzzy thing that I found almost a week ago now. I was over across the street at 7-Eleven. Hi. And um, while I was talking to the guy on Graveyard Shift that was over there, a uh, really nice guy, he, um, someone else had showed up and brought his attention to this little thing scooting around by the front door trying to get to the warmth. This little girl here. And she kind of bounced around back and forth a few times while I was trying to catch her because she didn't know what I was trying to do. But once I caught, caught her, she was fine. I brought her home. And as you can see, she is very obviously tame and acclimated to humans. She has no issue whatsoever. I can pick her up. Um, she's domestically bred. As you can tell by her markings, she even has. Come here. Hey, she even has. She even has a white tummy. Look at that. <laughs> She's perfectly content to sit in my hand. Climb around. I haven't figured out a name for her yet. I've only had her a few days. She's very cute. Hi. Her tail is actually two-tone. Right there is where it ends in black and starts white. Come back here, you. <laughs> Silly girl. But you can see there the change in color in her tail. Yeah. This is very definitely a domestically bred mouse. And she uh, is very definitely uh, tame. She likes to climb around on my hand. She'll actually climb up my arm to my shoulder and hide in my hair. Where are you going? <laughs> Silly girl. She'll actually even settle in and start bathing, like cleaning her face and stuff. Huh. Let's see if she does. There, there she goes. She's having a bath. And that proves that she is calm, relaxed, because a stressed out mouse or rat will not do this. Only when they're calm and secure and they know they're safe will they actually attend to grooming like that. So it's very obvious that she knows she's safe. She knows that I won't hurt her, and she can sit in my hand and ba and groom herself. Don't ya? Hmm? Mm -hmm. And just kissed her back. Right there. Whoops! Careful! Hang on. There you go. Where you going? There he is. And she'll actually sit. If I let's see if I can do this so you can see. Turn it right here. And that doesn't help either. But she'll actually curl up in my hands. She has never once tried to bite me, even when I gave her a bath. Um, she has grabbed my fingernails occasionally. 
But I mean, I can sit there, I can put my hand literally against her mouth like this, and she won't bite me. She is very, very tame, very, very gentle, very, very sweet. And people think that they're, um, you know, disgusting, diseased, um, vicious little animals, and they're not. They're actually, they make great pets, mice and, and rats. I've had rats off and on most of my life. And they make, they actually make great pets, the domestic ones, the domestically bred ones. Because, I mean, look at this. I can put, I can literally put my finger up against her, her mouth, and she, she won't do anything. She's a good little mouse. Yes. She's a good little mouse. Hmm? And there she's cleaning her face. They're so cute. <laughs> she's very cute. They make great pets for kids in grade school, age, grade school age kids, like, you know, first or second grade on up. Um, they're really easy to care for. Um, an enclosure that's just big enough for them to crawl around in, make sure that there's no holes that are big enough for them to get their head through, because if they can get their their nose and head through an opening, they can get their entire body through. They're master escape artists, much like snakes. Snakes are, are very much the same way. So you have to be careful. Um, an aquarium, a glass aquarium uh, set up, it works great for that. Um, uh, for something this small, you know, a three to five gallon uh, aquarium works very well. For a rat, you need something a little bigger. But they make great pets. You know, shredded paper for their litter. Um, the larger the cage, the less frequently you have to change them. Her little enclosure is just this thing here. So I clean it out once a day. It takes about five minutes. And while I'm cleaning her enclosure, she goes into a little, here, let me chin this, this hand here. She goes into a little Pringles can like this. There's holes in the lid. And she only sits in there for about five minutes. And it can, you know, she can roll around in it. You want to go in there? You want to go in? Go ahead. Isn't she cute? <laughs> and with the air holes, she can breathe. And she's only ever in there for like five minutes or so, like I said. There you go. Come on out. There you go. And then once her cage is clean, I take her out and put her back in her enclosure. Which, speaking of which, I need to clean, her, clean out her cage again. Do it once a day for something that small. For larger enclosures, you can, you know, wait two, three days or up to a week, depending on how big it is. But you want something that's, that'll give them, you want to give them wooden things to chew on because their teeth are constantly growing. So something like chopsticks. Yes. <laughs> or, um, you know, there's wooden toys that you can get. Um, they eat seeds and nuts, small nuts, um, but they eat seeds and um, fruits and veggies. Um, so, they're really, really easy to care for.
very, very good pets. Especially for somebody who has, you know, for first time um, pets, you know, a rodent that's easy to care for is a, is a good, um, good start to teach responsibility to, to younger kids. You know, teach them how to take care of, you know, small animals and gradually, you know, get build up to a, a cat or, or a dog. But starting with, like, something like this, you know, gives them a little companion that they can care for and You're just really cute. <laughs> and there she goes. She's so cute. She's cleaning herself. They're so cute when they bathe themselves. They're so fastidious. Very, very clean, very, very gentle little animals. Very good pets. Say hello. Don't climb on that camera, silly girl. <laughs> and she's going to climb up my arm. Watch this. Or are you going to go climb on the keyboard? She's adorable. She's very adorable. Hello, little cuteness. These long whiskers clear out to here. Hi. Okay. <sighs> I like rodents. Me and my feline personality, and I like rodents. Go figure. <laughs> of course, I like all animals, so. They're great little critters. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, go. Hello cute thing. Yes, hello cute thing. <laughs> <laughs>